Hey folks, what's up? Evan from Stock Music Musician, and in this video I want to tell you about one crucial distinction you're going to need to understand as reason continues to evolve. But before we go farther, I want to invite you to turn the like button up to 11, and be sure to subscribe for more great musical tips and be blessed by the musical muses, because we're going to be covering everything there is to know about reason uh, and reason 12 as it rolls out. So the big difference is what are reason rack extensions versus core reason devices. I've seen this confusion all over the place in comments, in forums, hashtag reason talk you rock, um, Facebook groups, everything like that. Um, so the question is, if I upgrade to reason 12, what devices am I getting? Am I going to get friction? Am I going to get algorithm? All these new devices. No, you are not getting them with Reason 12. Those are considered Reason Studios brand rack extensions, and they are separate and apart from the core Reason product. The core Reason product of Reason 12 will include, you know, a new uh, sampler, a new combinator, maybe some other new stuff that hasn't been released, but it will not include friction by default. It will not include algorithm. Uh, I will not include uh, oomph club drums. It's not going to include all of the other stuff. So before we go farther, I do want to let you know that I've got a reason cheat sheet that will help you understand how to use all of the core devices in reason, not the rack extensions. Um, and so there's a link down below. It'll give you a few sentences about each so that you know exactly what to reach for and when. Um, but I think it's important that you understand and conceive of the different values. Basically you can buy the rack extensions standalone. They're usually like between 80 and uh, let's say $120. Or you can subscribe to Reason Plus and get all of the Reason brand rack extensions. They're also third party rack extensions, not developed by Reason Studios, which you can buy separately. But as far as I know, they're not bundled in any way. Um, and so the only access you have is through the Reason Store to purchase those standalone rack extensions. Finally, just to confuse things even more, there are also VST plugins, which are using a different format made by different developers who can help you like, you know, anything from like a waves mixing plugin to a native instruments contact plugin uh, to a, you know, Omnisphere synth. It's, it's the whole gamut. And so it starts to get confusing to understand what you're getting and when you're getting it. But hopefully this video give you some insight into these three categories, core reason instruments and effects, reason brand rack extensions and effects, non-reason brand rack extensions and effects, and then finally just standalone VST plugins. Uh, so actually four categories. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day.